Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I cannot believe that we are like halfway through season four already. It just goes so quickly, but I love every moment. I adore this show and Buffy and Angel Day is one of my favorite days of the week. It's just such an indulgent little feeling that I get. I'm just so happy to get to sit down and watch. So thank you guys so, so much for being here and watching the episodes with me. I feel so lucky and happy and grateful. And now I'm gushing. So I'm just going to finish up and get started. Oh, okay. So things are ramping up with Riley. Willa said she was going to be at the science library all night. Okay, so are they going to take it to the next stage? All right, well that is a very interesting choice considering like Willow lives there too. We got trouble. What is it? I was in the rec room. It, it came through the window. It? Vampire. What? Vampires don't breathe fire. <gasps> to rag it? <laughs> She won't be killing anything tonight after all. Don't be so sure. <laughs> Aww. I mean, that is so beautiful. But I think uh, Buffy definitely wanted her night to go just a little bit different. When Willow said, you won't be killing anything tonight, Buffy said, "You won't. don't be so sure. I have to wonder if there's more than one meaning to that. Like, maybe Buffy sort of meant, like, killing the moment, which... I kind of did, but it, it's in a it's in a beautiful way. One time I, I got up to a bit of a prank with the uh, dartboard. I'm bored. Let's eat. We talked about this. I'm sorry, that was rude. Please continue your story. Yes, that's better. She's learning. She's learning human ways. <laughs> oh, poor Giles. Damn, you are still really left Hi, out. That's a lot of new faces here, aren't they? Most the kids from the dorm. A couple of Riley's friends. Hi, Giles. Buffy, 19. It's hard to believe, isn't There's it? There's someone I want you to meet. Oh, um, this he's is just getting talked Riley over. Finn, oh, my, my gosh. Boyfriend. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Giles. Been dating long? Giles was the librarian at my high school. I've seen the library gone downhill since you left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I uh, actually miss it at times. Yes. So, you retired? I'm sorry? You're working somewhere else now? S sort of between projects. Oh, he's just nervous. Well, and, and, and Xander did all the planning. I'm not sure I would have gone with the surprise party. You have enough things jumping out at you in the dark. Professor Walsh says adrenaline is like exercise, but without the exorbitant gym fees. Yes. Very witty. <laughs> you should meet her. She's absolutely the smartest person I've ever met. Oh. Perhaps we should have invited Professor Walsh to the party. She's got better things to do than hang out with a bunch of kids. Oh, no, no. Look, I've got to get a tissue because I'm feeling sad for Giles. I've got to get it prepared. That's my radio. And you're what? Shocked and disappointed? I'm evil. So what kind of place are you looking for? <laughs> Maybe a crypt. Someplace dark and dank, but not as dark and dank as this. <laughs> I want to give you something for your new place. That's my lamp. <laughs> gift is traditional. So, the Slayer. That's me. Oh. We thought you were a myth. You were a myth taken. <laughs> and I think all oh, that nice. time you were sitting in my class. I'm working on getting you clearance to come into the initiative. Agent Finn here alone has killed or captured how many is it? 17. 11 vampires, 16. That all? Wow. 17. <laughs> yes. Mm. What about you? Hundreds. How many hostiles would you say you've slain? No, this breaks my heart. Like, Giles, I feel I'm so sad for him. He, I feel that he doesn't really belong anywhere at the moment. He's just in between. And he's better than that. Oh, crap. Uh-oh, something. We can't wait for her, Willow. The demon prince Barvain is going to rise tonight. Wow. Those were my best stories. And I didn't tell you the Buffy breaks her butt stories. It's no big, really. Hey, who wants ice cream? No. Oh. when I saw you stop the world from ending, I just assumed that was a big week for you. It's a normal day. Well, I'm not even sure I could take you. <laughs> that all depends on your meaning. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I love that she changed the subject there because it's not yeah. about numbers for her. It's not about a competition. Can I help you with something, Mr. Giles? I'm looking for Buffy Summers. I'm sorry, Buffy's not here, but if I see her... Buffy's been very influenced by your cause. She quotes you quite often. 
She's bright. All she's really been lacking is encouragement in the academic setting. But our, um, I think it's best if, if, if we let a young person find their own strengths. If you lead a child by the hand, then they'll never find their own footing. What I suspect I'm seeing is a reaction to the absence of a male role model. <gasps> absence? Buffy clearly lacks a strong father figure. <gasps> I'm sorry, I have things to do. She has no clue. No clue. Oh, I don't like this direction that this episode is going in. I'll just have to take care of it myself. Of course, it wouldn't surprise me if we are entirely too late. It's probably just Spike's new house. <laughs> Should be ruptured earth and, and, and broken stone. I, I bet the initiative took care of it. Who? Oh, Riley and his guys. What? He doesn't know. What are you talking about? Oh, what, what's the initiative? No. What, um, what on earth does it have, have to do with Buffy's new boyfriend? I'm sure you know. Riley's... One of the commandos. Oh, what? No. Well, that's marvelous, isn't it? Spent weeks trying to get a single scrap of information about our mysterious demon collectors, and no one bothers to tell me that Buffy's dating one of them? Who else knows? No one else knows Spike. this. Spike. Onion, that's it. <laughs> and Spike. Spike? Only the basic stuff. Riley is a commando, and Professor Walsh is in charge. Professor Walsh? <laughs> that fishwife? <laughs> no, she's actually not that bad when she gets. We'll, we'll just see you. Don't forget it. Too clear off. I'll stay a little longer just in case. Oh, this is so sad. No, go. They just leave. This make this breaks my heart for Giles. Oh my kidding. He's probably gonna get Nothing into trouble on the way out. I wouldn't say that. <gasps> I wouldn't say that at all. In fact, Ripper, old mate, I'd say something rather interesting was about to happen. Someone? Oh, <laughs> bug, I thought you'd gone. Oh, that was so beautiful. That never happens. Ethan I Ray. love that. Yes. Giles' redemption. No, 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 wait, hang up. You, you can beat the crap out of me. Go ahead, I can't stop you. Or, or you can listen to what I have to say. Something bad is happening. Listen, you have to listen. You're going to need time to prepare. Oh no, isn't gosh. it more fun than kicking my ass? <laughs> no? Just tell me what you want to tell me. <laughs> Something happening in the dark world. Only one thing's coming through clear, is that something's harming demons. The initiative. They're scared. There's something called 314 has got them scared most of all. This new outfit, it's blundering into places it doesn't belong. It's throwing the worlds out of balance. He does actually have a point. Are you holding back? This training reminds me of when Buffy used to train with Angel, right? I'll go all out if you will. Are you sure? Oh, he's gonna go down. Oh, oh damn. And I think she was probably even going gentle as well. Are you hurt? I didn't mean to. It's fine. 20 years I've been fighting demons. I think you all should have a Nancy Ninja Boys kind of. Ah, okay. See, I, have a, I have a theory. Giles is yeah. drunk, right? Well, I, me. I don't think that it's Ethan is. Gosh. Giles has got himself drunk, or Ethan's See, filled him with drink roll. on purpose. My ass. I'm twice as much here. You know, you're really very attractive. Hmm? Huh? Here's my oh. my name and number. I'll show you the time. <laughs> what am I? I'm an unemployed librarian with a tendency to get knocked on the head. And I'm... Oh, we won't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, it's true. When you went to the loo, I slipped a small pellet of poison in your drink. You'll be dead in an hour. I knew it! Just kidding! <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God. Is he really, though? Is he really kidding? I don't trust I him. Really Enjoy the night. There is still a couple of sorcerers. The night is still our time. Time of magic. Oh, no. No, Giles. Don't listen to anything he Glad says. Glad you wanted to get together. I was happy you called. We'll start out slow. Start out slow doing what? We're going to float the rose, then use the magics to pluck the petals off. Wow. One at a time. Yes. Kind of got a bit wrong. Oh! The petals are off. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay, they still need to work on it. Oh, I feel like hell in the morning. Oh. Hang on, this is. <gasps> what? Ethan.
Ethan did this. Ethan did it. Oh, God. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, wow. Damn. Ethan. Yep. Yep. God, he's so strong. You know, he's going to get captured by the initiative. He can't go outside like that, Giles. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, and I like that shirt. <laughs> You cannot go outside. No. Oh, he's still. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in last night. Where were you? The chem lab by myself. I, I was trying this new spell, floating a rose. Uh, it's interesting that Willow said that she was by herself. I, I felt this presence, this dark magic's energy blocking the spell. Someone else doing magics? If so, it's someone pretty powerful. I sort of kicked him across the room last night. <laughs> Um, that's not good. I mean, he's right. You can't walk around pretending you're less than you are. It wouldn't be right for you to hold back. I held back a little. <gasps> yes, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, has he gone to see Xander? Oh, no. Xander. Oh, no, no, no. Xander, wake up. Mom. When you look at me, you may be a little uh, alarmed, but there's no need. It's, it's me. <laughs> Ethan has turned me into a demon. Hello. Yes. It's me. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, don't you understand me? Oh, they will. Oh, they will. Demon! No, 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 Just a little overall. Oh, no. It's terrible. Oh, that's right. Run for your life. <laughs> oh, my God. He's out in public. Giles, what are you doing? Bloody humans! <laughs> oh no! Ethan, how could you do that? Giles will know what it was. <gasps> They'll think that the demon's been here. Giles? Which it kinda has. There's a demon and Giles is gone. But it doesn't mean that he's hurt. I think it ate him up. <gasps> I thought that she would be able to instantly well. tell. What do I spy with my little eye? Oh no. A demon. That would be all right. Things I can kill. <laughs> Spike. Perfect end to a perfect day. <laughs> Giles? Hey, Go can on, you then. Hear Let's get on with the fighting. I'm speaking English. No, you're speaking Fioral. I happen to speak Fioral. And oh, by the way, why the hell are you so Amazing. Fioral, you just come over all demony this morning? Thanks to Ethan Rain. You have to help me find him. I could pay you money. money. Oh. I like money. How much? A hundred. A hundred dollars? No way. You'll have to do a lot better than that. Yes. Two hundred. No, just two hundred. Oh my god. Right That's right a bargain. What's first? I run and tell the Slayer what you've gotten yourself into. When I find Ethan, I can clear all this up without Buffy ever having to find out that anything happened to me at all. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <gasps> it's Giles. He's come home. Buffy. Oh. Riley. <laughs> there were 911 calls. You get 911 calls? We have a tap into the system. What are you doing here? This is Giles' apartment. He's missing. I'll help. Whole initiative. We'll do whatever you need. Thanks. I keep thinking, let's ask Giles. And I remember. He'd be great right now. He'd find himself in a second. Nobody is cooler in a crisis. If you can't find third gear, don't try for third gear. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I don't know if I'm driving this thing or wearing it. Do, do I have special powers? You got the mucus thing. Paralyze the mucus. It sets up fast. Are you making this up? Maybe. Oh. But hey, I feel like I'm changing. Sort of mindless need to destroy. <gasps> this anger. I refuse to become a monster because I look like a monster. I am a human being. Oh, stop the car. <laughs> Oh god, no, oh no, oh no. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's go then. <laughs> That's the thing that attacked me. We're all demon. Sort of a, a foot soldier type. And hey, mucus. Ah, mucus. A mucus, it was true. How do I kill it? Silver, a weapon made of silver. The demon attacked Professor Walsh. Got out of a small gray car. Stole Giles' car. <gasps> Giles Why car. would a demon steal a car? A demon that steals a car has a reason. Will, this, the spells that are going wrong, could they be caused by someone using magics to control a demon? Yes, that would draw in a lot of dark energy. 
Are they going to think about Ethan Rain here? I really don't think that's too much of a stretch. Riley, you and I are going to the magic shop. Something silver. Oh. A letter opener? Two of them. English like me. One of them gave you his number. I took one look and saw he was staying at that rat trap. No thanks. Ooh. Which rat trap? The Sunnydale Motor Inn. Right. Thank you. I wonder if that's the same place that uh, Faith was living at. Ethan Rain. <gasps> Who's that? He's got to be the guy nice. that made the demon attack Giles. It's Agent Finn. I need a search. Local hotel registrations matching the name Ethan Rain. Okay, this is interesting. That I think they're both going to turn up at the hotel. When I talked to Professor Walsh, she gave me very specific orders. She said when we located the demon, I kept. I'm not supposed to bring you along. Oh. Oh. Uh, what are Why? you doing? Buffy, I can't take you with me. You're not taking me with you. I am going and I am letting you come along. Yes, Buffy, it's not exactly. really your call. This is a military operation now. This demon did something to Giles. And I'm gonna kill it. The initiative is way down below uh, uh, the Slayer. Hey, picked up a tail. It's just a little uh, that's when I sit. Please, someone's <laughs> following us. I'm the military. Oh no. We'll speed up. Lose is them. that Riley? I've got it flawed. Slow down, I'll jump out. They'll follow you. These commandos are the same guys that are after me too. Yes. Maybe I want you around to split their attention. In them. I'll pay you another hundred dollars. <laughs> $300. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Giles? It, it, it calm down. It's okay. He did it because he knows it's Giles instantly. I can't undo you if you kill me. You've got to stop it. It killed Ripper and now it's trying to get me. Don't let him go. Oh, no. What did you do to him? What did you do? Oh, no, 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 no. We need Spike there. He's the only one that knows. And stupid Ethan. Oh, nice You driving. just try and stop me, you stupid Charlie. <gasps> Giles' car. His classic car. <laughs> Spike, Spike, please, we need you. <laughs> Right, down on some paper. This is for Giles. Who, oh, me? <gasps> oh, God. Giles! Oh, God. Giles! Giles! Please don't die. Actually, I feel quite well. Except for the rage. I think he's okay. Is this thing real silver? I really got to learn to just do the damage and get out of town. <laughs> the staying gloat gets me every time. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. You okay? <laughs> Most, mostly. Ethan's wardrobe's not helping any. How did you know it was me? The eyes. Your eyes? Yeah. You're the only person in the world that can look that annoyed with me. <laughs> this is gonna go on much longer. I'd rather like to be going. I'm human. You can't kill me. What's a slayer gonna do to me? By the authority of the US military, you are being taken into custody, pending a determination of your status. Yes. Yes. Hey, come here. Turn him into a demon, then you can kill him. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna go and watch them manhandle him into a vehicle. Oh, yes. Thanks. I told you I'd help. If I'd gotten here any later, and if Giles had killed Ethan, I never would have gotten them back. You'd find some other way. You're really strong. Spider man strong. Yes, she is. Yeah. But I don't stick to stuff. But... <laughs> You're in charge. You're like, make the plan, execute the plan. Yes. No one giving you orders. I'm the slayer. Yeah. I like it. But give me another old week to get ready, and I'll take you down. Oh! <laughs> he needs to up his training. I really thought I told you about Riley and the initiative, <laughs> and I know that it doesn't help. Look, I promise it won't happen again. Buffy, I don't want to ask you to um, betray any confidences, and I certainly don't want to interfere. You have butt face. <laughs> but. You look like you're gonna say butt. Yes, but. But? This, um, initiative. Um, Ethan's not exactly a, a reliable source, but I'm not sure that he's wrong about them. I'm not dating the initiative. I'm dating Riley. He's part of something that we, we don't really understand. Mm. Make sure you know what you're getting into. So she walks in and the rules just suddenly break. Be careful with her. You won't be disappointed in her. She's good at what she does. She is the truest soul I've ever known. Oh, no. Lord, spare me college boys in love. You want to know what I think? I think you're probably right. Okay, that's nice. She's up to something, isn't she? Yep, what's she up to? 
314. There's something in that room. Oh, okay, she is bad. She is bad. I've never really been a fan of Professor Walsh, but I gotta see what's in that room. What's behind door 314? Oh, it's just so back and forth. Like when she said, you know what? You're probably right. I did have this fleeting thought that, okay, things are, things are good. Maybe she's not as bad as I've been thinking. Maybe she's not too bad. She will grow to love Buffy and things will be okay. But then it had the music, the feelings changed. I don't know what she's up to, but I'm sure all will be revealed in time. I find it very interesting that we had Charles and Buffy having their having their chat about the initiative. We had Walsh and Riley having their chat about the Slayer. The only one here that is someone that is insincere and possibly quite dangerous is Walsh. So I am so very, very curious to see exactly what her deal is. And we had a little bit of a glimpse inside that room. There was, I could barely see it. I'll have to watch a little bit more when editing, but there was like a body or something laying on a bed and it was covered up. So cannot wait to see what happens there. Such a good episode that focused a lot on Giles. I have to say that there hasn't been a lot of Giles in this season and I do understand that. I get it. He's no longer like a prominent character on a, on a daily basis. Buffy is not really working for the council anymore. She does her own thing. She's an independent slayer. So she doesn't really have need to go to a watcher anymore. But I, I feel that she still does. I feel that Buffy in, should be interacting with Giles more. She should be going to him for help more. But maybe at her age, which is now, which is like 19, maybe she feels that she doesn't need help. She doesn't need any advice. She does better on her own, maybe. I mean, obviously, I don't agree <laughs> with that. I want Giles to still be involved, but it does seem that. Giles is becoming more and more of a background character and that makes me very sad because I adore Giles and like I've loved him from the very early days. He's just such a wonderful character, a sweet character and he is very much a father figure to Buffy. I found what Walsh was saying to be very hurtful to say that Buffy like is the way that she is because she doesn't have a strong male role model she doesn't have that father figure what do you think Giles has been for the past several years he's been exactly that but you know Walsh doesn't know that she doesn't know the huge impact that Giles has had on Buffy's life and that little moment there when Buffy you know, plunge the knife into Giles's chest. She knew who he was from his eyes. And that is such a beautiful telling moment. Like she knows Giles just from his eyes when everything else on him is unrecognizable. She can still tell that that is her Giles, you know? And I hope that that proves to Giles that he is still wanted, he is still needed, he is still loved. Even though Buffy is evolving and changing, she's growing up, she's getting older. So it kind of makes sense that she is more becoming her own person and not relying on Giles so much. But Giles, I feel from that moment, maybe he still feels loved, which is really nice. So Spike is going to move out. He doesn't want to live in Xander's basement anymore. I'm so curious to see what happens with him going forward. I really love that he was living in Xander's basement, though. Even though, like, Xander clearly hates him. He doesn't have many friends. Buffy doesn't like him. Xander doesn't like him. Giles is going to pay him 300 bucks for helping him. It was a pretty good episode. I really liked this one. It was lovely to see Giles get a little bit more attention. So that was really nice. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.